doesn't know slow, and uh, Antonio doesn't know slow either. They're bangers. Yep. And here we go, round one. Trying to range each other. Oh yeah, you gotta play the, Get a the feel chess for game distance. at a high level. It's good right see, hand from Figueredo. Yep. See what their opponent's gonna do or fall for. Oh yeah, they're still playing the checks game. Mm -hmm. Checks and balances. Man, it's quiet. In here. Yeah, it's, it's here every serious, man. The tension is crazy. They're they're oh, waiting that for that right hand. Look at how how red Bubba's face is off that one right hand. Oh, he's Ooh. got power in his hand. Yeah, those and Bubba right. just took those. You know, that's experience. Those rights are powerful. Oh yeah. Not popping Bubba's neck like you'd expect. No. I mean, it's pushing him back. So there's, he's got some strength in him. Absolutely. Both of them do. There we go, smashing those leg kicks. Oh, Figueredo's in there throwing heavy leather. Throwing heavy leather. Bubba's looking flustered, you know, he's trying to figure him out still. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's in there in a fight. I'm not sure who that is. I told is. you, both these guys are extremely good, and Figueredo is finding a home for that right hand. He's switching stances now, too. Yeah, he's, he's oh, back and man. forth switching up Figueredo. He sure is. is. Oh, again. And again, cocks. takes right him by hand. Mm -hmm. There you go. Picker, he's going to keep coming. Both of them got great form. Absolutely. They're both great. I think uh, Bubba needs to let go of his hands. You know, he needs to start throwing some more because Figueredo is definitely getting into his zone. He's getting into his flow of things. He's he is in you. now. He's trying to set up the punches that he's been landing. And you see him switching from, yeah. from right to left. And, you know, I've seen Bubba spar a lot. You know, usually he's letting him fly. There we go. Good headman from Bubba, though. Mm -hmm. Good duck right there. There we go. Figueredo let loose a left there that got would... got the power advantage. Yeah. I think we're definitely seeing that. If he had caught Bubba with that left. Oh, he caught him with a couple, you know, Bubba ate them. You know, these guys, they're not getting surprised by the punches. They're going to take some damage. Like I was saying, you know, amateur, all that, shit, all that stuff doesn't matter. <laughs> right, I know. Excuse me for the language. No, we got but you. It, it doesn't matter, you know. These guys are fighting in here, right. eating hard shots. They're going to bang till they can't no more. And that's just the thing. I mean, this is oh, a that sport. One, that one's that done. One, yeah, that's got 10 seconds left, though. 10 seconds left. But he great to the takedown. Good takedown. He's got four seconds left. Nice fight. Nice fight. My goodness. I, I'm going to tell you. They've got their range now. They, uh, I'm going to say this second round, I don't think it's going to go past this second round. I think something's going to happen in this next round. This is just, this is just me guessing. But uh, I'm going to have to give that first round to Figueredo. Uh, just his, his hands, uh, very accurate, very powerful. So, in my opinion, that first round goes to Antonio Figueredo. Of course, we don't want to leave anything up to the judges. And nobody's trying to. And it just goes to show that these fighters trying to advance their careers are making sure that they pick the hardest fights they can. They're looking for the toughest opponents they can get. If you're fighting a weaker opponent that's obviously weaker, it's not doing anything to build your record or career. Oh, no. Both these guys looking real good. Doc's checking out Bubba over here. Got yeah, his, his eyes, eyes Oh, it's bleeding from his eye. Wow. Is he? Yeah, actually. I'd like he might have caught a fingernail. Yeah, I think the doctor's going to call that. I mean, shoot, he's bleeding from his eye. If that's the case, there's yeah, I'd uh, say that's probably a cut on the inside. But Bubba's, Bubba's going to be telling him, no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, Bubba's going to be telling him, I'm fine. I know, I'm good to fight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was. All right. So we got Antonio Figueredo coming out of the blue corner. 
Here we Bubba go. Bubba, or where's Bubba's card? Oh, I got Bubba's card right here. I'm sorry. Bubba. I'm all into this Bubba fight. Bubba, st steal your girl, Picard. Steal your girl. There we go. I, I got a feeling. I got a feeling something's going to happen in this round, Malik. I do too. I don't think it's going to make it out of the second round. It might if we see some ground, you know. But if they stay standing, you know, somebody's so. yeah. If they stay up like this, somebody's going to. Absolutely. It's just a matter of time, not if, but when. Yeah. So I want to be so badly. I want to be screaming right now. You know, I work with Bubba. I want to be. I want to be coaching right now. Doesn't please, that make please, it? Please, please. That it's makes so it hard. tough for you to be here. Doesn't oh, it? absolutely. You know, I should be in this man's corner right now. Well, there's so many of these fighters that come through that you, that you're wanting to. Do. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, even the ones that you don't know. I I see you wanting to to absolutely. tell them to coach them and and. Uh, but they do, I, I, and it's. I want that to, to be known that these guys, they can hear their corners. They hear their oh, fans. Yeah. So Absolutely. if you come to these fights, let them know you're here. For sure. Figueredo, you know, he, he's, he's throwing power. He's throwing fast. He's throwing good. They both have nice bases, nice stances. They're, good they're head changing movement, levels. They're changing angles, you know. Their foot, feet are moving while they're throwing. They're, they're high level. Look at that. That was great head movement by Figueredo right there. I'm, I'm telling you, both of these guys are, are just a hair from, from fighting pro. Absolutely. No, I'd like to see Bubba t trust in his, his ground, you know, maybe take take Figueredo down, you know. Seem, Picard seems to be waiting for something. You know, I think he might have got hurt. I think it, he might have got hurt by one may of the be, punches. And, and, you know, he's... He is bleeding from his what looked to be his right eye. Yeah. You know, you know, he not doesn't seem to be throwing as much as, as he usually does. That right hand of his That's just a found a home. Oh, but a good uh, combo. Figueredo's are fine in pairs, you know. Yeah. There we go. I heard roll one, and he just threw it. So he's listening to the corner. Figueredo, though, man, he is looking amazing. Right, he's got though. great He's form, not missing huh? a beat. This guy is solid. Striking is great. Going from southpaw to right, he's uh, just back and forth. He seems comfortable in, in, in all stances. Yes, sir. Ten seconds, boys. Ten seconds. Oh, he's fingers, damaging the, the ground right there. Let him down, you know. At the end of the round, he's. All right, so here we are. Uh, this is going to be. Uh, we're going to go into the third round. Uh, medical will be coming over to take a look at uh, Bubba's eye, his right eye, to make sure. So I don't. I don't want to say we are going into the third until medical gets his approval. But uh, we're set for our third round. Bubba Picard fighting out of the red corner. Antonio Figueredo fighting out of the blue. Uh, so far, if I had to guess, I'm just going to say uh, I, I got to give both those rounds to Figueredo. He's he's not even looking winded. Uh, as a matter of fact, he just uh, refused water from his uh, his corner. He's not even not even thirsty. So uh, Figueredo. Just looking phenomenal here in this battle. Third and final round. Both of them just itching to go. They uh, apparently going to yeah, the, the blood in his eyes not stopping it. We're going to the third and final round here. So this is. They're going to leave it all out here this third round for sure. I, I still got the feeling like this is one of those kind of fights that anything can happen at any time. Absolutely. I, I mean, from, from ground to, to a knockout in, in the blink of an eye. For real. He's motioning that he got hit, you know, a little low. But if the ref doesn't stop it, you got to be ready to fight. This is still a great striking clinic from both of them. You know, if, if you're Figueredo, you know.
know, maybe you just sit on the ground because mm -hmm. you won the first two rounds. Yeah, he, uh, you know, maybe just hold him. But uh, Figueredo's not going for that. He said he's having all that freaking yeah. success standing up. He's going to keep it there. Yeah, why go? Why and Bubba needs to let go. He's lost the first two rounds. He's got to let go of he's his He's got hands. nothing to lose here. Oh, no. Other than the fight, so. Yeah, and that's nothing, you know. It's a learning experience, but he needs to let go of his hands. He needs a, He's too good of a striker to be sitting there, you know, checking. There we go. Good there we go. Kick. Way better third round for him. Oh, man. Seems to just be catching him with the toes. Yeah, and Figueredo looks like he's timing in to jump in with that one-two again. Yeah. He's in the southpaw switch. Yeah, he is looking there. Yeah, he's, Big he's left trying hand. to throw his combo. Yep. Big left hand. He's trying to catch Bubba. But he has a great one-two combo that he's, he's landed a number of times tonight. Yep, and they're short time, so. If uh, you're Bubba, you need to press it right now, leave it all in the cage. One minute left in the final round. Sure. Ooh. Nice. That had landed. That would have oh, yeah. That would have made a slap for sure. Figueredo with a great takedown. Uh, I'm telling you, yeah, Figueredo's looking awesome tonight. Yeah, he looks great. Solid. I mean, he's mixing up the takedowns, too, yeah, with the uh, hands. Uh, all around. Yeah, he's doing great. It's his fight, you know. 30 seconds left, he's going to get his hand raised. I, I like, you know, I don't want to say nothing. I'm not saying anything bad about Bubba. Bubba's a great guy. I had fun oh, with yeah. him out back. But somebody's got to win. Somebody's, somebody's got to win. win. And somebody's got to come out on top. And uh, Figueredo seemed to have too much of a strength advantage, it seems. Yeah, Ooh. he's strong. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there we go. Good, That's how good right Bubba's hand from feet. Bubba there. Oh, his, his eyes really affect him now. It looks like it's shut. There you go. Done. Great fight. Good job to these guys. Woo! Yeah. Woo! A little, little meat mugging there oh, at the yeah. end. What's that about? That's huh? how it goes, man. Yeah, there you go. Hug Love it out. It. That's nice. All right. Oh! Antonio Figueredo. Bubba Picard. All day. Very nice. It'll be going to the judges. Find their cards. I'm a fucking dog. I'm a fucking dog. I'll go again. Five more rounds. Antonio Fosho, Figueredo in the blue corner. Bubba, steal your girl, Picard in the red. Figueredo uh, laughing, smiling. That's, that's sportsmanship right there. Picard, I think, knows how this is going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, out of the blue corner. That was one of those fights where Tony, 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 right great fight, man. But, uh, I mean, your hands, your hands looked amazing. You were mixing in the takedown, solid, great unanimous decision. How do you feel about the fight? Uh, it feels good. I haven't fought in three years, so it's kind of. I feel like I'm making a de debut again, but uh, I trained hard for this fight. Not gonna lie, it's a tough opponent, and uh, the scab kick, man, that was hurting me, so I had to switch my stance. Good thing my coach forced me to uh, fight both stances, so I can. I'm pretty much uh, two fighters out there at the same time. So, uh, but other than that, it feels good, man. It feels good to be back. You mixed it in. You were switching stances good. You were coming in on angles good. You got the takedowns in there too. You did an amazing job. Is there anybody you'd like to thank? Yes, sir. I would like to thank my little brother, Jeremiah. He's, uh, he's been supporting me a lot. He's always asking me how I feel. He's only like 12 years old and he's always looking up to me. So I just want to say, uh, I dedicate this fight for him. I know he's winning for me. Whenever he sees that, I hope I make him proud today. Yeah. And, uh, 
also, uh, I want to thank my coaches, Coach Adams. Uh, I, I hope that uh, Coach Jeremy feels better in the, uh, in the future. And I want to thank my girlfriend. She supported me a lot. I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my mother-in-law. They all support me. And uh, I appreciate all of that. Well, I know they're very proud of you tonight, man. Keep it up. One thing, and I also want to thank my brother, Ivan. He's, uh, uh, I know it was hard for him to make out here, but he did, he took his time off to, just, to watch me, so I really appreciate that. Yes, sir, great fight, man. You just went to war for Arkansas. Keep it up, man.